Hi, I'm Bonnie Gross, President of Speech Science, and today is tip number two about conference calls. Your voice is so important, and the way you speak, the choice of words, being succinct, it's all part of being really good on conference calls. And as we all know, today we're talking more on the phone or through the web than we are in person. It may not be great, but that's the way it is. So here's something very important. You really want to keep control of the meeting. And one of the ways to do that is discuss the protocol that you're going to use at the very beginning or close to the very beginning. What do I mean by protocol? Well, you don't want people interrupting you all the time and you don't want to have that worry. You also don't want the timing to, to, to go way off so that you spend more time in certain areas and then you have to rush. I suggest tell people right at the beginning the format and protocol of what you're going to do. For example, after you say good morning, just say the structure of the meeting is such. We have three things to discuss. We'll spend 10 minutes, for example, on item number one, 10 minutes on item number two, etc. And at the end of each discussion, we'll open it up for Q&A. Please hold your questions until that time. Or you might find that you just want a brainstorming session. That's fine. Say that uh, this call is 30 minutes long. We will brainstorm this idea and uh, someone will take notes. But then I'll remind you when there's only five minutes left to, left to go and we will come to some conclusions. In other words, whatever your protocol is, tell people what you expect. Tell them if you don't want them to interrupt you or when you want them to ask questions. And then make sure that you remind people when the time for each item is coming to a close. That way you keep in control. If you want more tips, or if I can help you in any way, please give me a call. Bonnie Gross, 416-323-3881, or send me an email. Bonnie at speechscience.com. See you next time.